Hello everyone, welcome to new episode of Mind Map. In today's episode, we will discuss about anticyclones and other concepts. In the previous episode, we have read about the extra tropical cyclones and tropical cyclones. And in this episode, we will discuss about anticyclones, characteristics and weather conditions, difference between tropical and extra tropical cyclone, difference between cyclone and anticyclone, names of tropical cyclones in different regions and how the names are decided, recent tropical cyclones with regions. So first of all, let's begin with the definition of anticyclones. As the word anticyclone implies the air circulations having opposite conditions and characteristics of a cyclone is called anticyclone. The term anticyclone to indicate divergent air circulation in all directions from high pressure center was first introduced by F. Galton in the year 1861. Surrounded by almost circular isobars, Anticyclone is such a wind system which has the highest pressure at the center and pressure decreases outward. The winds blow from the center outward in the clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Anticyclones are high pressure systems and are more common in the subtropical high pressure regions but are practically absent in the equatorial regions. They are generally associated with rainless fair weather. This is why anticyclones are called weatherless phenomena. Now moving on to their characteristics and weather conditions. Wind system is not fully developed in anticyclones because of weak pressure gradient. Anticyclones are generally of circular, near circular or wedge shape but are very large in size. Anticyclones are originated due to the descent of either polar cold air mass or warm tropical air mass. Cold anticyclones are associated with extremely low temperature and they cause cold waves. While warm anticyclones bring heat waves during summer season in the tropical regions. Generally, anticyclones are rainless and sky is free of clouds because of the fact that descending air in the center of anticyclone is warmed up adiabatic rate due to subsidence. This causes rise in temperature which reduces normal lapse rate of temperature with the result the stability of air increases resulting into marked increase in the aridity of air. This is why anticyclones are indicative of dry weather. Now let's have a look at the difference between tropical cyclone and extra tropical cyclone. Extra tropical cyclone occur around 30 to 60 degree north and south while tropical cyclone occur around 5 to 30 degree north and south. If we talk about the area covered, extra tropical cyclone covers large area and can originate on land and sea both while the tropical cyclone covers smaller area and originates only over the sea. Extra tropical cyclone has less wind velocity, while tropical cyclone has much higher velocity as compared to extra tropical cyclone. The movement of extra tropical cyclone is west to east and tropical cyclone moves from east to west that is northwest. And frontal system, extra tropical cyclones have clear frontal system and while tropical cyclone have no fronts. Now we will discuss about the difference between cyclone and anticyclone. Cyclone is a low pressure system with surroundings of high pressure and anticyclone is a high pressure system with surroundings of low pressure. Cyclones blows anticlockwise in northern hemisphere and anticyclones blows clockwise in northern hemisphere. Cyclones blow clockwise in southern hemisphere while anticyclones blows anticlockwise in southern hemisphere cyclones are associated with cloudy sky heavy rainfall and stormy winds while anticyclones are associated with clear sky mild winds and dry conditions cyclones are disastrous while anticyclones are mild and pleasant weather except heat waves now let's have a look at the names of tropical cyclones in different regions. 
cyclone in Indian Ocean region. It is named hurricane in the Caribbean Sea, Gulf of Mexico and USA. Willy Willys, Australia. Baguio, Philippines. Typhoons, Western North Pacific. And Novaki or Taifu in Japan. Now let's understand how these names are decided. There is a strict procedure to determine a list of tropical cyclone names in an ocean basin. The Regional Specialized Meteorological Center or RSMC is responsible for monitoring and prediction of tropical cyclones over their respective regions. In general, tropical cyclones are named according to the rules at the regional level. General public can also suggest the name of cyclone passing some fundamental criteria. Now, why this naming is important? First of all, it helps identify each individual tropical cyclone. It helps the public to become fully aware of its development. Local and international media become focused to the tropical cyclones. It does not confuse the public when there is more than one tropical cyclone in the same area. The name of the tropical cyclone is well remembered by millions of people as it is unforgettable event whose name will long be remembered and it increases community preparedness. Now lastly, let's discuss about the recent tropical cyclones with regions. Sitrang, October 2022 in the Bay of Bengal. Asani, May 2022 in Bay of Bengal. Gulab, Shaheen, Gu, September 2021 and the region was Arabian Sea. Yas, May 2021, Bay of Bengal. Taukte, May 2021, Arabian Sea. Hurricane Ida, August 2021 in USA. And Seroja, April 2021 in Western Australia. So that's all for today. Hope this topic is now more understandable to you. Now let's note down the questions. First of all, the prelims question. This question has been asked in 2022 prelims exam. Question is, consider the following statements. 1. Jet streams occur in the northern hemisphere only. 2. Only some cyclones develop an eye. 3. The temperature inside the eye of a cyclone is nearly 10 degrees Celsius, lesser than that of the surroundings. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 2 only or 1 and 3 only? You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. Now moving on to the mains question. What are the differences between cyclone and anticyclone? Describe the weather phenomenon associated to anticyclones. So stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.